With our vaccine program, we also have a platform technology called Thermavax, in which we can stabilize liquid vaccines to store them outside the refrigerator. As you know, in excess of 95% of all vaccines require refrigeration or freezing during storage. With this technology, we can lyophilize or freeze dry a liquid vaccine to a dry powder, stored for extended periods of time. For our rice and toxin vaccine, Rivax, we've now demonstrated that we can store this in excess of one year at above 40 degrees Celsius or over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And upon reconstitution with the commodity sterile water for injection, it maintains 100% of its activity, zero degradation. So here you have the potential with biodefense to be able to stockpile without requiring refrigeration, to be able to distribute very easily, much easier than you could a typical vaccine. But what this technology also does, it allows us to move beyond biodefense to emerging infectious disease, where we can now not only partner with other vaccine companies, but not-for-profits, government agencies, where we can look at the developing world as well, uh, especially with pediatric vaccines. So this is an area that we're actively pursuing with partnership, uh, interacting with uh, the largest vaccine companies you could think of to development stage vaccine companies, not-for-profits in the government, to look to do feasibility work and ultimately uh, have a, a, license, a licensing agreement established to show that uh, we can stabilize their vaccines. So this technology, although we're using it specifically for our biodefense, has potential to really be transformational for vaccine development.